Welcome to Group 2's presentation on School Media Specialist and the English Language Learner. This presentation is part of LIS 600, the fall of 2014. My name is Chris Baker and I will be presenting this project to you today. The goals of this project were to identify a significant issue in the field or in a specific context or institution and show the ability to articulate that issue, develop a policy, and advocate for change, innovation, or a creative extension of a given service. Also to demonstrate leadership by suggesting ways to implement innovations or improvements to existing or non-existing practices or services. With these goals in mind, our group set out to look at the English language learner and the use of the library media specialist in a school setting. Research shows that the number of immigrant children enrolled in public schools has increased dramatically over the years. Nationally, it is estimated that 4.4 million students, or 9.1% of all school children in the United States, are English language learners. English language learners are, do not often receive as much help in the public schools as they should, creating a learning gap between English speaking students and their ELL counterparts. We have felt as though the library media specialist can be a vital tool to help bridge that gap. Furthermore, we found that a survey of school librarians reported that 30% of school librarians use no special strategy to serve their ESL's population. Furthermore, 91% of school librarians reported that less than 5% of their collection is in a language other than English. However, 14% of school librarians reported that at least 25% of their student population were English language learners. This has created a wide gap in the services of a school librarian to their ELL students. Further research shows that only 7% of non-Hispanic students have parents who have not finished high school. However, 30% of Hispanic public students have a parent who has not completed the high school requirements. With this data in mind and the goals of the project also in consideration, we propose the following research question. What is the role of the modern school library and librarian in the language learning process of English language learning students? We suggested three roles, the first being a collaborator with ESL teachers, the second a creator of welcoming spaces for English language learning students, and the third, a creator of a resource for parents of ELL students. The proposed implementation would be the addition of a substandard to the North Carolina Professional Teaching Standards, specifically outlining the role of the library media specialist in the ELL students achievement through collaboration of the ESL teacher, ensuring that the library media center is inclusive and welcoming to students from diverse backgrounds, and establishing the library media center as a resource for parents and an avenue for parental involvement for students from diverse backgrounds. We recommend the addition to the North Carolina professional teaching standards the addition would come as a substandard to standard two which reads teachers establish a respectful environment for a diverse population of students. The proposed standard would be standard 2.6 school media specialists actively address the needs of the English language learners. The full proposed standard would read as follows Standard 2.6, school media specialists actively address the needs of English language learners. Librarians should collaborate with the ESL teacher, 
ensure that the Library and Media Center is inclusive and welcoming to students from diverse backgrounds, establish the Library and Media Center as a resource for parents and an avenue for parental involvement for students from diverse backgrounds. The first prong of our standard would be the collaborating with ESL teachers. Ways the school media specialist could implement this would be to provide materials for ESL teachers. This could include the selection of supplemental books that could have numerous benefits for ESL students. Also to create a policy that pointedly recognizes the collaboration benefits between the library media specialist and the ESL teacher. This would provide an opportunity for the ESL teacher and the library media specialist to share resources and coordinate activities to achieve the goals set out within the policy. The second prong of our approach would be to ensure the library media center is inclusive and welcoming to students from diverse backgrounds. The library media specialist could implement this through content modification. This would mean the inclusion of more and improved representative language books, signs, and catalogs. Also the increased representative language signage. This would set the tone for the rest of the library and help students locate materials within the library. Finally, the improved technology literacy of ESL and English speaking students. This would increase the use of the library media specialist as an information access point for electronic resources for ELLs. Finally, the library media specialist would help to establish the Library and Media Center as a resource for parents and an avenue for parental involvement for students from diverse backgrounds. It has shown that the increase in parental involvement will enhance children's academic achievements. Also, the Library Media Specialist would ensure that the school library has substantial bilingual materials. This could allow the parent to further understand what the teacher or other school officials is trying to communicate without having to rely on their child. This could be done for meetings during the school day or after school and not require the student to serve as a translator or as a guide. The school media specialist could also celebrate the diverse cultures and traditions presented at their school by participating in cultural festivals and events. The library media specialist could take advantage of their seeing every student within the school to help connect those students, teachers, personnel, and parents to facilitate the planning of these events and festivals. Also, the library media specialist could assist families in learning how to use a library. Increased English reading and speaking abilities, more frequent and independent library use, and an increased self-confidence will make these families more attracted to the library. It is also of note that the library media specialist should communicate to international students and their families that the school library is a free resource available to all at no cost or membership fees. This is particularly of note because many libraries in other countries do charge for their services. Our group developed three different evaluation methods. The first would be a pre and post policy implementation survey which will, be, will attempt to calculate the success and benefits of the policy change. This would be administered to the library media specialist, the English language teacher, by the school administrating staff 
at the participating schools. Also, we propose the additional section to be added to the general teaching evaluation process that would be administered by the school on the library media specialist during their yearly evaluations. Finally, we offered a simple comparison of the number and the rate of ESL students testing out of the program before and after the policy change. This would be administered by the library media specialist and the ESL teachers comparing records of the students before and after. In review, the English language learner population is on the rise. With this rise comes a learning gap that has developed between ESL and lang English language speakers. We feel as though the library media specialist can help to bridge that gap. In doing so, we have proposed the following policy. The addition of a substandard to the North Carolina professional teaching standards. Our group has proposed a three-pronged solution. The proposed additions specifically address collaboration between the library media specialist and ESL teacher. Ensuring the library media center is inclusive and welcoming to students from diverse backgrounds and establishing the Library Media Center as a resource for parents and an avenue for parental involvement for the students from diverse backgrounds. We must begin by implementing the proposed policy change. Then, by following the three-pronged solutions to developing a library and ESL program that works together to meet the needs of English language learning students. Thus the students will be better served and society will reap the benefits of those well-educated students. As a conclusion, school libraries should strive to promote literacy to English language learning students, inclusiveness to those English language learning students and their parents and to promote assistance to English language learning students and their parents. In doing so, the ESL program and the school media center in public schools will increase the success rate of English language learning acquisition and ensure that English language learners have equal access to information.